This is Good Morning Kansas with Annette Wallace and meteorologist Kat Taylor with your Cape First Alert forecast. Cape News on your side. Hey, over to Kansas City this morning. KC in the middle of their 10 game homestand opening up a three game series with the White Sox trailing five to one here. Mike Moustakis. This is the first home run since before the All Star break 26 of the year. Last Royal third baseman to hit 26 in a season. We're talking about George Brett, my friends, back in 1985. Uh, you know, down to the fifth, though, they're down two. Alex Gordon ties us with six at that time with the second RBI double. Overall, they were knotted up at six in the ninth, but the Royals, they take home this game seven to six. Go KC. Hey, a fan at a minor league baseball game in Fort Wayne, Indiana, succumbs to beer pressure after catching a foul ball in her cup. Take a look at this. It's a tradition when uh, you know when something like this happens you I guess you have to go and chug your beer after it all partakes I guess but uh, you know what this woman she gladly did without even taking the ball out of the cup. There she goes. That is some dedication right there coming to us from Indiana. A lot of fun. Hey, why don't we go ahead and get to the rest of your morning sports highlights with Chase. Now with sports from all across Cakeland, here's Cake Sports anchor Chase Shannon. The 83rd NBC World Series is here 1.30 this afternoon. The first game between the Austin Shockers and the Sterling Express. It's going to be hot, but a lot of fun over these next two weeks. Get ready. Our coverage starts on our evening newscasts tonight. All right, let's head over to Andover. The semifinals at the U.S. Junior Amateur yesterday. Noah Goodwin last year's runner-up here on 14. Look at this par putt. It bends in, and that pretty much pushes him in. To the final as Rahan Thomas can hit the birdie putt to extend the match. So Goodwin does luck up his spot on the opposite side. This is future Oklahoma State Cowboy Matthew Wolf battling South African Garrick Higo. Wolf up two here on 17 and Higo's tee shot goes into the hazard and that all but does it. He ends up conceding the hole setting up a 36 hole showdown between these two Americans which starts at 7 this morning. Try to do the same thing I did last year. I mean, I played great golf in the final last year, and I'm going to have to um, against whoever I play tomorrow. And I just have to keep playing my own game and just stick to my game plan. Just grind. I'm really excited, and like I said, this is such a prestigious tournament with so many great players. And to just make it to the final, I mean, let alone quarterfinals or semifinals, is unbelievable. But I'm just going to have to go out there, stick to my game plan, and hopefully I take it down tomorrow. Also in Andover, Ron Baker back in town hosting his basketball camp as they took to the YMCA out there. The next guard joining up with some current shockers to help some area youngsters hone their hoop skills. The Scott City kid grabbed headlines earlier this summer when he signed his two-year contract extension with New York. Remember, Baker came into last year undrafted with no guarantees, but now he's got the big money coming to him, and he's still, though, going to keep things simple. I tell everybody I'm going to stay the same. I'm going to drive my Sonata in New York. I only have it for six months. I don't need a Bugatti or anything like that. I'm a finance major, so people probably get an idea of where my money is going to be going. <laughs> Heartland Conference champion FC Wichita back in action tonight over the Striker Complex. They're hosting Midland Odessa FC in their South Region semifinal. This is huge to have this game here as they try to continue to score early and often while this team, like all great teams, seems to be peaking at the right time. At this point right now, it's where we're playing the best soccer we, we could have. And uh, since the beginning, we were going step by step and getting better and getting better. And uh, I think right now is the, is the best point we, we have. So. If we can put them on the back foot uh, even further, then it, it makes it, it more beneficial to us. And, and we've capitalized on that the past two games. Um, and now hopefully we can do it another time tomorrow. Kickoff coming tonight at 8 o'clock. And that's a look at your sports. Have a great day. That now brings us to 821. A new warning from the Better Business Bureau this morning with a scam that's popping up on Facebook. It's popping up online and it's all involving your pets. We have details coming up and a Caitlin community is coming together to help this little guy. We'll show you the tough battle he faces and how you can help.